what is up guys so today i'm out on the ice it's really here um problem is i'm almost done fishing for the day i don't have a lot of time to go fishing and i've caught nothing so I've, 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 i saw one actually through the ice which was pretty cool i don't think that video turned out but i want to show you something cool so a lot of people like myself are not the most uh, well off financially to go ice fishing especially get fancy ice fishing gear and I needed a graph when I started fishing ice fishing seriously so and I bought this one here the Garmin Striker Pro it's a little bit dusty I have it in a box I don't have it in a full setup yet but I got this last year and it is an amazing uh, uh, piece of uh, tech ice fishing uh, uh, sonar the striker pro is as you can see it's on right now um it, i think it ran me like a hundred bucks and i think you can buy it for a little bit more with a, a case and whatnot um but it's a really really nice affordable uh graph for ice fishing um so to start off of course runs off a, a battery i picked that one up at a bait shop and uh, you can pick them up at any battery shop uh, transducer that comes with it trend the deucer that is with it is one for a boat but as long as you have it sticking just like this straight up and down you can uh, use it through the ice so first of all when you start it up it's gonna look like this here it's gonna have a home page and the home page here has a lot of options but the two main options that ice fishermen are interested in is the traditional graph as you can see what I use um, bounce up my rod here you can see that the uh, lines going and the flasher which is like a vexler uh, some people prefer this some people prefer the other way I per personally prefer traditional graph um, I just find it way, 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 way easier to use and way easier to see fish coming in and out. Um, the Striker Pro has a couple options. It's got your range, your gain, your frequency is the main thing. The deeper you fish, the higher the frequency you're gonna want. And uh, you're gonna want it on chirp, uh, 77 hertz, shallower, wider, cone, uh, 200 hertz, narrower cone, and it's for, you know, further down. Um, same thing goes for the flasher. Um, oops. And back. You can zoom in and out. You can have it uh, just the auto where it does it automatically. Um, either way, it's still a very nice piece of ice fishing tech that I would suggest using if you don't want to break the bank but you want to go ice fishing. Um, I technically don't need one here I can basically see right to the bottom um, but it's just but for uh, if you go any deeper if you have cloudy water you don't want it and this same thing applies to the boat works great in a boat um, yeah well thank you for watching guys I will hopefully actually catch a fish one of these days school's almost done but anyway thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time I'm gonna go fishing